Tonight, a possible trade backlash after One Nation's strong showing in the Queensland election. Centrelink trying to track down a $200,000 computer glitch. And military action still an option in Kosovo, despite signs of a breakthrough deal. Good evening, Peter G with ABC News. Queensland is coming to terms with a possible trade backlash after One Nation strong showing at last weekend's election. One Asian business group has advised foreign companies to delay investing in Queensland. And the Prime Minister's again warned that One Nation's policies will scare off foreign investment. But Pauline Hanson says she's not to blame. Try as he might, the Prime Minister can't seem to shake the shadow of One Nation. And now it looks set to cast a shadow over Australia's trade prospects. As news spreads of One Nation's victory in Queensland, Asian business groups are urging investors to delay making a financial commitment. He has spoken with some companies since the election and that he, he has advised them to, to, to wait and see. A warning that's worrying Tim uh, Fisher. I urge Taiwanese investment in general to uh, stay the course. The alarm sounded after claims at least one company, Taiwan Sugar, had already quit Queensland. Not true, according to the company. But the Premier, still waiting on a final result from the state election, says negative comments about the Queensland economy will hurt. It is dangerous. It is talking down investment and jobs and the future economic development of our state and nation, and it is to be condemned. If foreign investment doesn't come to Australia, it will go somewhere else, and so will the jobs. John Howard's urging voters not to support the experimental policies of One Nation. Uh, which would chase away foreign investment, threaten our export industries, and as a consequence, endanger the jobs of many tens of thousands of Australians. But at least one businessman believes the Hanson factor can be stopped at the border, placing an advertisement in a Sydney newspaper encouraging people to boycott Queensland. I think it is about time now for people like us to take a firm stand on Pauline's uh, rhetorics. And the woman at the centre of it all, Pauline Hanson, says it's a disgraceful extortion attempt by Asian Australians. We don't want these people here. They either see themselves as Australians or please don't come here. The Premier denies uncertainty over the election result is adding to the confusion, but it's unlikely to help. With predictions, the result now won't be clear until next week. Lisa Miller, ABC News, Brisbane. Meanwhile, the post-election warfare in the Queensland Liberal Party is increasing, with calls to have some senior members of the party expelled. Members of one Brisbane branch want former Prime Minister Malcolm Fraser and former Defence Minister Sir James Killen expelled for criticising the party over the One Nation preference decision. Both are life members, but were vocal critics during the election campaign. Sir James says the expulsion move is an attempt to pass blame for the party's loss onto others. And unless it disciplines itself to look quite ruthlessly and honestly at the causes, it will uh, just not make any progress whatsoever. And that, uh... The party's state executive is expected to discuss the move next month.